Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later over there for some more mono black zombies. This deck has been surprising us. It's just been very resilient. It's been, uh, you know, like killing people whenever we didn't think we'd have a chance kind of thing. And, um, yeah, basically just been really surprised with how powerful this deck has been. Now, I know when we have been playing this deck, mostly we've been playing against a lot of control, which has been pretty good for us, that we can kind of grind out control, get underneath them, uh, make them tap out, and land Liliana to help finish them off and, and stuff like that. Other aggro decks are going to be a real big struggle for us, but thankfully we haven't been getting paired against too many aggro decks here um, overall. But yeah, basically we're just a, a mono black aggro deck where we also have a self-mill plan where we have Stitcher Supplier and Liliana Untouched by Death that help us mill ourselves. And what we do with those other things, whenever we mill ourselves, we can get more creatures in our graveyard for like Graveyard Marshal. So we can have more creatures uh, to exile. We can have Liliana's minus three uh, cast all of our zombies from our graveyard whenever uh, we self-mill ourselves. We can mill, mill some gutter bones in th into the graveyard and then pick them back up. So that can get, gives us some card advantage there. And then plus, we have Creeping Chill, which gives us a lot of reach. Creeping Chill, you know, this card doesn't seem necessarily like it's, like, you know, that powerful in standard. But it's been surprisingly good in our decks. So many times we've been playing, and we get our opponent down to three, and they stabilize, and they kill all of our stuff, and we just Creeping Chill to kill them. Uh, it's been, you know, really impressive. So... That's uh that's kind of what we got going on here. Uh, Drill bit has been a really good addition from the new set as well as uh, discard effect. Like you probably know how good thought erasure is. Well, this is thought erasure that costs one mana. I'm sure you don't surveil, but just one mana thought erasure. Where on like turn one you can play gutter bones. Turn two you can play like another one drop plus drill bit, and you're off to a great start. So that's what our deck's about. Uh, Liliana on touch board death is our best card. This is the standout card of the deck. Um, this is the card that we want to have like on turn four all the time. It is certainly our best card in our deck. And let's see if our plan works. And if we got that. Um, if, we, if we're lucky, if we have a lot of Lilianas. So why only one Cabal Stronghold? Because it's, it's not a very good card. Most of the time, it's not going to generate mana. The only way Cabal Stronghold generates extra mana is when you have five swamps in play. And then it'll generate one extra mana. We have 22 lands. It's just not likely that we're going to have a Cabal Stronghold plus five swamps. It just doesn't happen that often. What does happen is we could have hands with a swamp and... Like, if we, if you play more Strongholds, you could have hands with, like, Swamp Stronghold are your two lands. And then you can't you can't cast your Graveyard Marshal. You can't double spell on the second turn of the, the game. You need a whole lot of black mana for your early plays here. No, Narc Amoeba is not a good card. That's, we don't have it that much. We don't have enough milling. Anytime you, you would draw a Narc Amoeba, it would just be a dead card. You can't, we can't, we just can't have that. Wow, Growth Walker is horrible for us to see. And plus, even if even if you get to mill over Narcomiba, you just put a 1-1 one, one flyer into play, and that's just not even a very impactful card. But you you can't afford ever drawing a Narcomiba or ever having one in your hand. This is a huge problem. This Wow Growth Walker. So I guess if our opponent whiffs, by whiffs I mean not have Explore Creature, which is what we need, that we can have Graveyard Marshal attack through a Wild Growth Walker, or, you know. So we could have Graveyard Marshal take out two Lana War Elves with them missing on lands. I think that's worth it.
Dredge is a completely, completely different deck. A different format. It's just... They're not... It's just not even comparable. Okay. Uh, these are pretty scary. Pretty scary cards indeed. Yeah, we can't really... I don't know. This is going to be a tough one to win. I don't know what our opponents... Like, if our opponent draws a blue land, that's really bad for us. They get Hostage Taker. If they draw an Explore Creature, that's really bad for us. If they just... You know, it's like... Like, what are they drawing that's good for us? <laughs> kind of thing. All right, Death Baron's a very good draw. So if our opponent wants to finality these away, they're just getting rid of three Land War Elves for our two cards, you know, like they're trading three land war elves and a finality for, for our two. A little surprised they didn't just to cast Honestly a little surprised they didn't just cast Find and get the hostage taker back. That's a good draw. Ooh, double chill. Bones down to seven. I'm just saying. They're at seven. <clears throat> well, I assume that's going to find... Uh, yeah, definitely assuming that's going to find some Explore Creatures. So they get to look at like 10 cards by, by next turn. Our opponent did draw pretty good after we drill bitted them. They drew the blue source for Hostage Taker, and then they drew Grass's Contempt the next turn, and then they drew Vivian. So I was saying, we just didn't have <laughs> didn't have any cards that were bad for our opponent to draw. I was hoping my opponent would would be scared of blocking with their Wild Growth Walker there and take it. That's what I was hoping. I've seen things that would break someone like you. So we need all these cast downs and ritual of sets. Hmm. We can take out chill and supplier like always. This is probably just one of those times still. They got the same cards we always do.
Would I rather have another Contempt over a Creeping Chill? Yeah, Midnight Reaper and Liliana. Those are our two, you know, cards that can at least kind of help us grind with Soul Tie. You know, we, we didn't see either one. I could honestly see playing Duress. Switch after sideboarding. They're just going to be bringing in like lots of spells. Let's try this. Alright, we'll take this. You know, we don't need a duress right away or anything. Definitely like having Liliana. Go, creatures, go! Alright, we need to draw a swamp. This needs to be a swamp. So we can have Death Baron. Swamp. Tilt. So they have Jade Light cast down. I don't think I care about the Carnage Tyrant. Duress is going to take cast down. So I guess I'm taking Jade Light. We just get the swamp here this time. Missed it last turn. Can we get it this turn? Oh, uh, wow, growth walker. Come on. Oh my gosh. Ooh. That was a nice draw for us. Otherwise, we were dead to this thing. Yes, Arena had a downtime unexpected today. And so we had to pause the stream, take a lunch break. And now we're back. Yeah, I guess there was something wrong with the store, I believe. Pretty dead though. We need to hit that land drop before. Pun really likes their carnage tyrants. Why they're keeping that Carnage Tyrant? I'm not just into the grave with you. They didn't have a mana for another Carnage Tyrant. Why are they keeping that one? No one knows the wilds like I do.
So we could get what? Marshall Marshall right now? I value moral flexibility. Meet my newest friend. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you got it, Scott. Yeah, it's minus the bear. Wild Growth Walker. Won my fair share of games on the back of that card. We started at noon today. Our stream... There was a downtime today. And the stream got interrupted because of it. One person's trash is another woman's army. Yeah, you can find the deck list on my stream decker page for quasi duple who's. You can't stop nature. Oh dang, I didn't even know that. Yeah, I'll be streaming for about another around five hours. Is what we have left. Oh, these stupid gutter bones, they're not zombies. I was thinking I was going to be doing minus minus 4, but only did you know, did not do minus 4 obviously. Need to be more aggressive attacking the Liliana. I should have been minus twoing the my Liliana a little more the last couple turns. Well, it's not a shame concede. It's we have zero percent chance of winning. Concede. I don't. I don't care for the invitational format at all. I don't like the best of one format but some people do okay let's try this again Attack. That's where drill bit's just been really good for us. Wow. Drill bit's even better than I thought. Fabian with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Fabian.
Let's get that sub battle countdown under 100. All right. 99. So this is going to be tough to sideboard against. We don't know, ex you know, we don't know very much about their deck. I could see them being like green white tokens. I can also see them being green white angels. So if they're like a token kind of deck, we're going to want ritual of suits. They're an angel deck. We're going to want the contempt. I think I'm going to go with the contempt and kind of treat them like an, an angel deck. I think. Overall, the Angels are going to be pretty difficult for us to beat. Could be Bant Nexus, that's true too. So I don't want to sideboard too much. Let's just kind of take out one Supplier for one Contempt and call it a day. Yeah, certainly, certainly a good chance of tokens with Arch of Araska, but usually mid-range angel decks play Arch of Araska as well. If it is tokens, uh, breeding pool. I say hopefully we can kind of fight through them with our creatures and our death touch and stuff. Let's get some creeping chills. Chill. No chills. Chill. No chill. Unfortunately, there's a lot of lands. I, w I do want to draw one more land. We did just mill over a bunch of lands. Alright, seven damage coming in. So it's Bant Nexus. So do we want to fairy or root snare? I'll take the snare. So we're gonna attack for lethal next turn potentially. Shock. Are we playing Settle? And if so, what do I want to get settled? I only did need to attack with two creatures there for lethal. Went with the third to check see they're bluffing. They just had I won't hide from the you know world anything else any like longer. bounce ball or whatever if they're just trying to bluff. You know what? I do like the extra yet. land. Like we're we're gonna be fine here. First, see if this Liliana resolves. All right, it did. I call, and the dead answer. So now we can attack them. <laughs> if Liliana got I countered, I would have just killed the Teferi if Liliana got countered. 
Like, well, if it was like absorb, you know, if there's like absorb the gain three. That's going to be a real good matchup for us. Uh, even, you know, we didn't even bring in our four duresses, you know, like sideboard, we get four duress to go with four drill bit. And we have our fast clock with eight discard spells. And then we have creeping chill and Liliana that they can't stop with root snare. That'd be a, that's just a great matchup for us. Maybe our best matchup, honestly. Hey, what's up, James? Ooh, maybe the same matchup. Attack. What you got? Night with Autumn and Fight with Fire. Interesting. So I'll let them have the fight with fire, just kill something. Night of Autumn gains them for life and then also blocks. Um. Some more of these in play. No, Bayonet Nexus hasn't really isn't any more popular than it has been in you know recent weeks and stuff. It's not you know it's it's not very popular, but you see it sometimes. Three turn clock. That thing's big. That's bad. Kind of regret not drill bidding last turn. We're doing okay. We haven't seen any creeping chills yet. If we mill over three chills. No chills. Chill. Chill. Yeah, we're not doing very good at milling over creeping chills. Having that other growth chamber guardian in, in hand was really annoying. Hmm. We have not been drawing well to finish this game out. Too many lands here. Three in a row. I'm 
No blocks. No blocks. No blocks. No blocks. What if they just didn't block there? We could have killed them with Creeping Chill, even through a Shalai. Because Creeping Chill does say, deals three damage to each opponent, you gain three life. It doesn't target. We needed to mill over some chills. We didn't quite do that, though. Yeah, I thought we were winning that too. They they had like the one card in hand when we cast the Contempt, hit them for five. You know, that's what we had. And then they had two four fours that they played the next turn with their five mana. And just took over from there. Growth Chamber Guardian was incredibly strong uh, in that specific game. Even like a you know a death baron giving our things death touch would have been key. Yeah, I mean those are our we don't you know we have we have a few cards that are pretty powerful, but you know with our three and four drops and so not having any uh, death baron, midnight reaper, or Liliana. If we have zero of those cards it's pretty tough for us this is just miserable I mean I guess if my opponent has nothing Liliana can kill my opponent it's not really my opponent having nothing I right, got 20 gems. Yeah, I do think London Mulligan rules is good for standard. I think that would be pretty good for standard. So, yeah, we just had, yeah, that was a pretty, really fast league. 40 minutes, let's, I think I want to run that back. Not just such a fast league. This deck goes pretty fast. Really hated how that last game ended. That last match. Just didn't get to do anything games two and three. Well, I mean, sorry. We didn't get to do anything games three. And then game two, you know, with like the flood out, how we just couldn't get that one extra card we needed. Let's run it back. Nothing that costs like less than three. It's not a great strategy. At least we go first though. Orzhov Unity is an is an Orzhov deck that was donated. You know, it's a donation deck for us to play. It's kind of a collection of Orzhov cards. And the person that donated for it. I uh, just named it, named it that, as you see, it just named it Orzhov Unity, it's kind of cards that come together. Oh, maybe I should have, yeah, maybe I should have switched to an and, uh, Avatars. The Whitley one hasn't been treating us as well. Spinal Centipede?
<clears throat> yeah, Hazy Lad, we've gotten some card arts. Mostly for cards for Quasi Dupla Ooze and Grixis Discard. Three mana, three, three. Paired against a newer player here. I think I want cast down. And I, I basically just don't think I need drill bit. So I'm going to bring in cast. Like, I just want removal instead of discard. And then, uh, yeah, I'll have a moment of craving also. I think I want that over the third contempt. Yeah, quasi duble ooze with another strong showing earlier today. This is a good hand. So yeah, we have about five more hours still on our stream tonight, and I think we have enough time to do the other decks, uh, even with a rerun of this Mono Black Zombies League. You have one Hadana's Climb in there, JT. Two three menace. Well, two three menace is good against two two. <laughs> hey Yud. Yeah, the the new cards are are def definitely expensive to get the card art that you want, but they do do look pretty cool. Gonna have to do a whole lot more. Playing and winning, trying to get the more end. of these gems so we can get Wait more cards. See what I've got planned for you. Everything's three toughness. I think their plan is to do animated basic lands. It just hasn't been implemented yet. You know, like, they don't have a complete, but that's, or not animated, but, you know, 3D. That is certainly the plan, is to be able to do that with basic lands as well. Death. I'll just replay our Midnight Reaper with the Liliana. It's the Midnight Reaper that never dies. And supplier milled us over another zombie we get to cast. So that's pretty good. I don't know what this thing does. If you control a, a Vraska Planeswalker, you gain life equal to a tenant of Raska's power. I don't get squeamish on me. Alright, we gotta chill. Liliana's tick up did five damage there.
I'm just gonna get rid of the gutter bones and make a 2 2. Zombie. I guess, I guess it would have just been better just to pick up the gutter bones and play it. But then looking at the other cards, I realized I didn't really want to take out any of the other cards from my graveyard. My plan was just to take out something else. Um. How to replace Entrancing Melody? Entrancing Melody is pretty difficult to replace because it's like your only removal spell in the deck. So it's kind of tough. Ah, I feel like my old self again. Um. So I'm not exactly sure. So all these uh, zombies have death touch because of the death baron. So no matter how our opponents block, like they all just trade. Yeah, maybe a, a fight spell. Yeah, you could have something like that, like, you know, like, yeah, I guess that could be something. All right, they're down to one. We got to, we get to middle over six. We'll see if we mill over a Creeping Chill. Alright, no Creeping Chill. So we'll draw a lot of cards. Do you think we have more resources than our opponent right now? I'm not sure. Not sure. Alright. There's two more creeping chills in here. There's a chill. Just a little bit more. All right, want to know. Do you prefer arena over paper magic? There's a question. I don't know. I like I like each for different reasons. I like how you don't have to shuffle or find all your cards or put your decks together and all that kind of stuff on Arena. It's a lot easier. The games are a lot faster. But then of course then again like playing the actual cards and everything is a lot of fun and that's why I got into the game. Hey, Eddie. Against control, that's that's what we want to be facing. Ooh, what do we got here? Orzhov sleeves? Cool. We just are an aggro deck that have that has discard spells. That's our that's our plan, and we have some card advantage to go along with it. All right, what you got over there, Sir Jorn? Have a negate. Do. Yeah, Dupla Ooze killed it again. Absolutely. <laughs> Most of the cosmetic stuff we got was for Quasi Dupla Ooze and for Grixis Discard. Those are our first two decks today. We played uh, showing off the cosmetic cards that we got.
Cryler Carnarium? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. No Cryler Carnarium for you, opponent. Why is my opponent not casting their cast down? Do they just not want me to draw it? Like, now I have to draw two. So, I'm... I am glad, though, that, you know, we know more about our opponent's decks. We do know that they are Esper, and so they're playing Cry, and they have Kaya. Those are definitely difficult cards for us to deal with. Yeah, Spyglass is okay. Spyglass stops to fairy. It's okay. This is a matchup for Spyglass. If we're not bringing in Spyglass here, we shouldn't have it in our sideboard. But <clears throat> kind of just playing in this deck, I've kind of been less impressed with Spyglass. Yeah, we should be playing it, though. Uh, do, there are no Vanquisher's Banner in my deck, Doom Waffle. Alright, let's give it a try. Yeah, the good chance they have Hostage Taker. I mean, they're... Their deck's going to be, like, built to beat mine, for sure. No, there's not a mobile version of this game. Alright, so Graveyard Marshal just hits harder. And if they have Cry the Carnarium, I'd kind of rather the Graveyard Marshal get exiled instead of this other Gutter Bones. Not playing into Absorb or Cry the Carnarium. Making my opponent do something first. That's a good one. They had double absorb. Double absorb negate Kaya's Wrath to Fairy. It's definitely either Kaya's Wrath or to Fairy. Hey, thanks, James. James with the donation for being awesome in these dope 12 hour streams. Aw, oh, thanks, James. Very kind. So, Teferi or Kaya's Wrath? I'm thinking uh, Teferi. So, we're not going to kill them too quickly with this Gutter Bones. Unfortunately, they've drawn some lands here. All right, so that's going to give us an opportunity to get this Liliana in play, which is awesome. Well, they aren't useful to me alive.
Okay, what do we have in our graveyard that we could cast? We just go like what graveyard marshal plus death baron. Open the graves. Into the grave with you. Now we just wait for Death Baron and our uh, Liliana to kill them. Definitely not playing anything into Absorb and letting them gain life. And there we go. Back to playing Esper, and that's where my comfort level is with the deck for sure. With this deck, we have certainly played against Esper much more than anything else, and we've had a very high win rate, very high success rate against Esper. We just have some, some sticky threats that's difficult for our opponents to deal with. We have a lot of discard spells, pretty fast clock, and then we also have Liliana's. So it's good, pretty good matchup for us. Liliana in particular is our most important card. Red decks, though, these are not very... Red decks are what we don't want to face. We do not want to face Chain Whirler decks. Chain Whirler decks are pretty difficult for us. And we even saw last game, just bigger creature decks like this. It's not going to be easy. This is not good for us. This Growth Chamber Guardian is just going to win this win this game most likely. What's the best budget deck for for best of 3? Mono just I think I do think it's mono blue. I think mono blue is a good deck and it's very budget friendly. I kind of think that I should not have cast my second drill bit and should have cast the Dire Fleet Ghoul in hopes that my opponent would activate the Growth Chamber Guardian on my turn and get a new one, and then I drill bit away the other Growth Chamber Guardian. No, they have lightning strike. Do they just have two removal spells? So I think that was a mistake by me. I think I should have not cast the second drill bit. Waited to see if we could pluck this other Growth Chamber Guardian if we were lucky. Um, the unlucky part being if our opponent just cast the... Did not activate their Growth Chamber Guardian and, and instead would if they would have just cast Spellbreaker. That's the thing. If they would have just spent their turn 3 casting Spellbreaker, it would have been pretty tough for us. It's the main reason to cast the drill bit there. So it's not... It's not clear exactly, you know, I can see arguments either way, basically, because if they just don't activate Growth Chamber Guardian play the Spellbreaker, it's a lot of trouble for us. All right, well, technically we'd still win. Will be very hard. Basically, we need our opponent to not have anything, except for just like summoning sick creatures or whatever. You know, because we can block one, four, four, take eight, go to one, and then we need to draw Liliana, and we need Liliana to tick up and mill over a zombie and the fourth creeping chill, and that will deal five to them. So we have to draw one of our four Lilianas.
Dang, didn't do it. And then, really I had to mill over in three cards, had to hit any zombie and the fourth creeping chill. Ugh. Didn't happen. So yeah, green red aggro, same with, just like with mono red, green red aggro, this is gonna be tough. Lost this one a little bit ago, too. Especially if we, especially if we don't have Death Barons and Liliana. It's like, we have to have Death Baron or, and or Liliana to be able to get through enough damage. Of course, our opponent with the Lightning Strike probably would have just killed our Death Baron. Yeah, let's try Moment of Craving too. We can kill the two twos before they start adapting, but even just like whenever we're in combat, uh, you know, we can shrink a we can shrink like a gruel spellbreaker, like while we're attacking into it. This takes a, this Hand's a little different. I would like this hand more if we had Liliana. But I'm probably not playing anything until turn four, just casting Ritual of Soot, and then moving on from there. But if we're going to be a control deck in this specific game, it's ni it'd be nice to have our Planeswalker. And it looks like our opponent's kind of on the removal heavy plan as well. So yeah, I'd like to have our. I'd like to draw our planeswalker. Honestly, I probably should. I should just play the midnight reaper there. I should just play this last turn. No, you cannot use it on duress. It only works on activated abilities. The only things that are activated abilities are things that have. You can tell what's an activated ability by a colon in the text box. None of these are activated abilities. Check out Cabal Stronghold. See this thing with the colon here? That's an activated ability. So it'd stop anything with an activated ability, but it's not a mana ability. A mana ability is something that adds mana. So it would it would, it would not actually stop anything on Cabal Stronghold here. Randomly, a dinosaur deck. See where we go from here. Still not really liking our chances. Still want to draw Liliana. That's kind of what I could say every single draw step until we draw Liliana. Hey, what's up, DJ Polly B? So they have the Growth Chamber Guardian and they are able to adapt it. It's going to be a little rough for us. Games are going pretty good. We had a, a break today because there was some, some unexpected downtime. 
So we had a little lunch break, but we're back, and this is our second run through with zombies because the first one's real quick. Don't need more lands. Our deck looks so much better when we have Liliana untouched by death. And that card's so cool too. I just want to draw it. Just never get to. Hand's still pretty loaded. <sighs> Two of these? Ugh. All right, changing my tune. I need Death Baron. Baron. Yeah, I guess I guess we have a ritual of so we have one ritual set in the deck somewhere where maybe we draw that. Graveyard Marshal makes tapped zombies, so we, we cannot make more than just one blocker this turn, which means we don't have enough to stay alive. So like at the beginning of the video, it's talking about control decks, that's what we want to play against. Aggro decks that are just a little bigger, that's not what we want to play against. We do not want to face these aggro decks that have bigger creatures than what we have. Joe, if I don't understand. I don't get the reference. No, not green red aggro again. Bleh. Alright, so at least. At least we got Death Barons. Death Barons give us a chance. You know, our, our creatures having Death Touch and being able to trade up with uh, bigger creatures is, you know, like that's that's big game. So we haven't haven't drawn Death Barons against these Green Red Aggro decks yet. So it's good to have it this time. They, of course, they can have removal that kills our Death Barons, and then you know we're in trouble. But we have our, our big time card here. Yeah, we can definitely beat Reclamation with this.
Yeah, that's our plan. Try to get nine more damage in and then creeping chill them. They're down to six. People don't expect reach from the mono black deck. What is MeUndies? It is an underwear company in basics. And you get 15% off your entire purchase by using my referral code there. And you also get, if you make a purchase with them, you also get $15 off a donation deck. You can get a donation deck for only $5 instead of the normal 20 I believe they ship to Australia. Now, somebody looked that up actually for me in chat before. Last time we had, uh, that was a question. Uh, we had some people order some me undies, and that was the question is like where they ship to. Well, that's, that's bold. Our opponent was willing to go down to one. Good old creeping chill, always for the win. Creeping chill. <laughs> it's getting cold in here. What if I don't play Ritual of Soot? Hmm. Yeah, we having some zombies fun. What if I just take out Drill Bit? And stay with all the creeping chills. And take out Moment of Craving. What if we just stick with Supplier and chill? Let's try this. No, we lost to the... It was just Green Red Aggro that just had a Regisaur Alpha and a Death Gorge Scavenger. We lost to that deck. We've been losing the, to the Red Aggro decks. Like Red Aggro is our, is our worst matchup. We don't want to face Red Aggro, whether they're splashing green or not. That's, that's not what we want to be facing. Control decks, you know, spell heavy decks, that's what we want to face. Control, reclamation, things like where our four drill bit for uh, duress and a lot of one drops and stuff like that. Shine. I'm just going to cast the Graveyard Marshal instead of Gutter Bones because it just uses our mana better. Or if I draw a land, I can double spell. Okay, yeah, so MeUndies does ship everywhere. There we go. Thanks, Gatsby. That's what I thought, I forgot, but now hopefully this time I'll, now I'll actually put out my mind that I should, I should remember that. I don't really want to cast down that goblin. I want to save cast down. Maybe we should just play Midnight Reaper here and just try to trade one for one and draw a card. They have like another collision. That'll be annoying. I guess Colossus. I always feel like the top part of this card should be the plus four, plus two, and then the bottom part should be the deal six to a flyer. This deck, we don't have very much of the cosmetics in the cosmetics department for this deck. I just have duresses in the sideboard. 
had him earlier for the quasi dupla ooze and uh, Grixis discard. We've just been playing against the Delver deck. They had one creature and just all these spells to help protect their creature. We're just playing against Delver. Yeah, they're cards that look like they're 3D. They're kind of like full art cards. Guess I'm doing this. Really hope that last card in hand doesn't kill me. Hope it's not a scarier creature. Hooray, it's not a scarier creature that's gonna kill me. Care to meet my backup? Hmm. So I have a Midnight Reaper and a Graveyard Marshal in the graveyard that we could get with Liliana. Remember we, we Gutter Bones is being a skeleton warrior, we cannot cast that with Liliana's minus three. No, you cannot change the basics in the deck builder right now. They did mention that in their article of something they want to well, they change to or want alive. to be able to include, but is not has not been included yet. Yeah, if we would have just cast down that goblin on like turn two, they would have just been stuck with these collisions in hand. Didn't seem like we could have not taken nearly as much damage. No, not growth chamber guardian. No, no. That's just infinite large creatures. Ooh, death baron. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> I have a deliciously morbid idea. All right. Yeah, I got that triple land out of there. Seriously? <sighs> I was not thinking they would have fiery cannonade, honestly. But still, if it's a I don't know if I would play. Want, it's a I guess I would have been a little bit more aggressive attacking with those things if I was considering a fiery cannonade. Typical. Finally, there's the creeping chill. One person's trash is another woman's army. Wow, fiery cannonade. Could have at least tacked for seven more. That other turn. Like, if I would have attacked with the 4-3 and the other 3-2, if I would attack with both, oh, you and if they just Good took it you. and did not did not block with the Growth Chamber Guardian, they could be at 3, and I could actually have lethal chill. Just trying to play a little defense on the Liliana, a little bit long game. Guess that was not correct. All hope's not lost. We need to draw Liliana or Stitcher Supplier and mill over double chill. I 
That's what we need to do. Supplier or Liliana? Okay. There's Lils. Let's have some fun. Alright, so it's better it's better EV to minus three. Rise. So we got two suppliers now. So we got six cards. Oh, where's the chills? No, I need I need creeping chill. Come on, we need two creeping chills. Chill. We got one. So close. So close. If our our Liliana tick up whiffed a couple of times earlier in the game. If we just did a whiff. Gosh, we got so close. No, it's it's over. They have lethal. Oh! Oh! Oh, I need a blockchain whirler! Oh, I need a blockchain whirler! No, I, I hit the okay right whenever... I realized it right whenever I clicked okay. No, I need a blockchain whirler for the first strike. Because, yeah, in, in my mind, they just weren't attacking with the chain whirler. But then they did, and I didn't adjust. Because in my mind, I didn't think they were going to attack with chain whirler, right? So I was just like, oh, it's over. But then they did, and, and I was already lamenting the fact that we lost, and I didn't adjust. I was just, you know, talking, and... Yeah. Well... Okay, one and one. Yeah, that would have been a, a man. That would have been a great win if we would have blocked the first strike chain whirler, and the first strike chain whirler would have killed our opponent. Do you think we're gonna hit triple chill here? I'm thinking it. Wow, zero chills. Love it. Good card. And that fiery cannonade messed me up. Opponent did have a bunch of lava coils last game. We didn't draw cards earlier with the Midnight Reaper. Hoping they don't have a lava coil here, but we saw a lot of lava coils last game. Really, the big thing is us getting a land here to... Like, I wouldn't mind them using a shock. Nice. There we go. Go, Liliana, go. I was going to say, I wouldn't mind them using a shock to kill the Midnight Reaper as long as we get to draw another land. Like, that's fine. But we, we hit the land drop, so... All good there. What is more? <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. All right, they're down to fifteen. So right now we could cast just we can cast Reaper and Supplier. No! No! No, my You're Liliana! My time. Rest in peace, Liliana. We do need some more brush wags in this zombie deck. I agree. Well, the giant's just gonna be too expensive. Yeah. 
No, Liliana. All right, so is that the second one? Sorry, yeah, so that's two Lilianas. Pretty aggressive deck. I just don't want to play a four mana card that four mana card like Master Masterminds Acquisition that just like draws a card. Well, that's unfortunate. We milled over that Death Baron. That would have been a really good card to have. Unless they, you know, if they keep their mana up for Hellkite, though, maybe not, but. So we want to draw Liliana, or maybe a Supplier. Want some still activate Hellkite. Looking a little rough as we go through. We've only seen one, one Creeping Chill so far. So 32 cards left. Still got three Creeping Chills in here somewhere. Dang. Phoenix? I guess we get the two damage in, huh? Just sacrifice Diagraph Ghoul for two damage. I need to stop drawing these lands. They have us. They have lethal next turn. We'll definitely have some real fun games. So sideboard wise, like what? What's like something good that I can have for that kind of matchup in my sideboard? I mean, I guess just like more cast down. I don't know, we just kind of like run out of steam and they just have like these card advantage or these growth chamber guardians that just never stop coming and we run out of steam. Certainly don't need the spyglass in the sideboard. That card just is not necessary in this deck whatsoever. All the giant costs seven mana. It's just, yeah, giant just costs seven mana. It's just hard hard to, to play. Chupacabra is good. What if we played some Chupacabras? Why not spyglass the chamber though? Because it's just... I mean, it's just still us wasting a card just for, just for that activation. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I'll, yeah, I'll, good games, Roja. I, I don't want the acquisition card. Skeletal Archer. I don't know what that card is. I don't think that's a card. No, cancel. I just took out the Eldritch Reborn. I never liked Eldritch Reborn. But I guess those matchups Eldritch Reborn actually is kind of good. Could have Playcrafter is not a zombie, but Playcrafter could be a thing.
Skeleton Archer. That's what y'all are saying. Yeah, so that, no, that's just... Ravenous Chupacabra is just infinitely better than that. Chupacabra is probably pretty good. So Revival to put Midnight Reaper or, or Death Baron back into play? No. No, that the just those those other creature matchups that are bigger like those are just such bad matchups for us. I don't. I guess Chupacabra could be like the best cards that we could be playing. Yeah, I guess Chupacabra is probably it. Could just be playing a fourth cast down. Oh no no no! Oh, we already talked about it. So what's no? Never mind. What's the undergrowth card? Yeah, we can just play Necrotic Wounds. Let's just do that. Let's just play a couple of Necrotic Wounds, take out the Vrasa's Contempt. Yeah. Yeah, Necrotic Wounds can, can work. We don't I don't really want things to cost more mana. Yeah, that that could be a decent card. Ooh, what about Mausoleum Secrets? Y'all want Masterminds Acquisition. This is just a better Masterminds Acquisition. This can get us more Lilianas. Instant Speed Tutor. It's very bad early. I don't even know if it'd go in the main deck. I, I don't know if it. I don't know what I would take out. Like I, I could take out like the fourth supplier. I could probably do that. I could probably trim one supplier for a, a secrets. I'm just. I'm worried about casting Doom Whisperer. Doom Whisperer. That's a good card against aggro. That's a. That's a great card against aggro. I'm worried about casting it, though, because 5 mana... I mean, some of those games, it didn't seem like it would be too difficult, but we're a 22 land deck without card draw. So 22 land deck without card draw, expecting to cast a 5 mana spell is really difficult. Yep, Quasi-Duplicate was the same deck as before. Kept that the same. That's interesting. All right, maybe we'll try this card. I could see this also just not doing anything. I feel like this is like just a card I want to in. I think I just want that card post board. I don't think I want that that card in game one. I think I'm also going to take out Ritual of Sid. Yeah, I'm putting this in the sideboard. In game ones, we want to be more linear, more aggressive. But then games two and three, your opponents always have a lot more interaction. And I think that's, and the games are slower. And that's where I want my Mausoleum Secrets. Or we could just have Discovery. Y'all are saying Discovery. Hmm. Thing is, we have to have a lot of creatures, right? Like, we need to have a lot of creatures, and especially a lot of zombies. So Liliana's plus triggers reliably. So we can't just, like, we can't just play, like, a bunch of cards like Dread Shades and all those other cards that are not zombies. Pay X, do X, damage, black spell. You're going to have to be a little bit more specific. I don't know what you're talking about there.
Could this be a sideboard card? Can you just have discoveries in your sideboard? Like, is this better for us than Bloodfast in the sideboard, honestly? Hmm. I guess in those matchups I'm taking out Chill, though. No. Drain life? I don't know. Oh, yeah, Drill Bit's awesome. I don't think Tormenta Herald Fire, didn't that rotate? No, Banner's too expensive. Can't have the 5 mana card. We tried Banner, it's it's too expensive. Eldritch Reborn's 5 mana, too expensive. Just can't play 5 mana cards. I mean, you can, and sometimes they do stuff, but they're just not reliable. Alright, I think I'm going to try this next time. Two Mausoleum Secrets in the in the board. I like that. That's just more stuff against control, though. And one secrets. One secrets, one blood fast. I'm not a fan of costly plunder. I'm talking about in this deck with 22 lands, not in standard. Obviously, five mana cards in standard are awesome. You have Vivian, Teferi. Five mana cards are are great, but in this 22 land deck with no card draw, that's what I'm talking about, that I don't want five, uh, five mana cards here. All right, so if we have three Necrotic Wound, three Cast Down, maybe four Cast Down, I may get that extra Contempt. No, Necrotic Wound's good for Contempt. Yeah, that's fine. Four cast down. Okay. And then against Control... So against Control, I'm boarding out Chill and Supplier. Or, like, keeping two Chills in and bringing in four Duress, one Bloodfast, one Secrets. Do I want the second Bloodfast? Because I definitely want a lot more removal. That's maybe too much removal, though. Mono Craving's kind of meh. Hmm. Mare. Oh, it's two words. Plague, Mare. I'd rather have this over Moment Craving. Yeah, basically against tokens. Tokens would be kind of tough. I like Necrotic Wound and I like Cast Down. I don't think I necessarily need a Moment of Craving if I'm playing Necrotic Wound. Maybe I'll just go back and have Ritual of Soot in the deck still. Okay, we'll just go back and put Ritual of Soot back in. So there we go. That's, that's what I'm going to try next. Next time we try uh, Mono Black Zombies here. Alright, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.